The OC course that we teach at Defensive Firearms Instruction is by Defense Technologies. Now, Defense Technologies is actually owned by the Safari Land Training Group, which is one of the biggest, less lethal producers in the world. One of the other reasons that our company chose this specific type of training is it is the same course that local law enforcement actually uses for their certifications, which is a huge benefit for security professionals looking to get licensed. This course is specifically designed for security professionals wanting to increase their level of education to be able to use OC pepper spray in the field. The main focus of this course is going to be portation, presentation, and application. When we start discussing the portation concept, so we're going to talk about the different types of methods that you can use to carry your pepper spray on your person, whether you are in a uniformed role or in a plainclothes role. As far as the presentation, we're going to definitely talk about some of the concepts in regards to getting the pepper spray from your duty belt or on your person up in a ready position to start applying it to a suspect. The last step of this is going to be the application. How do we specifically apply the different types of pepper spray that we're going to be using in the different environments that we are using them in? We also cover selection and size considerations for pepper spray. Now there's a lot of different types of pepper spray out there, anything from foams to streams to fogs. We have different sizes from very small cans of pepper spray to very large cans of pepper spray. So we're going to cover the application and what environments would be better for certain types and sizes of pepper spray. We do have courses that are live contained contamination upon request for companies. Most of the courses that we run are not going to be live contamination. Instead, we're going to use an inert canister. And so basically, you're just going to get sprayed in the face with pressurized mint water for the uh, direct application. We also talk about reports and how to write a legally defendable report. We're also going to talk about use of force. How do you know when you're legally justified in using pepper spray? And then what do you do after you have already used pepper spray? We talk a little bit about interacting with local law enforcement and how to set yourself up so you are following your company policy. What you're going to need to bring to the class is going to be a valid form of photo ID in addition to a pad of paper and a pen. If you are interested in signing up for a OC pepper spray course or if you own a company and would like our staff to come out and do a custom course for your staff with an emphasis in your company policy, feel free to give us a shout or visit us on the web at defensivefirearmsinstruction.org. We look forward to seeing you in class.